Hi guys and welcome back, it's Matt here from Let's Play All. Today's video we're going to be going off on a slight tangent from our usual Pearl Jam theme. And we're going to be looking at another band from Seattle called Thunder Pussy. We are going to be looking at guitarist Whitney Petty and her incredible riffs on a tune called Speed Queen. Um, I had a quick look on YouTube to see what was out there for these guys. Um, there isn't a lot of uh, instructional videos, which is nuts. Um, so I worked this out last night and had a ridiculous amount of fun playing it. I understand Whitney is a bit of a gear nut as well, as, as we all are. So there's, um, there's a really good article as well about from Earthquake or Devices, I think it is. Uh, so check that out as well. I'll chuck it all in the bottom so you can have a peruse. Uh, but her sound is generally a Les Paul and I think think it's a Proco Rat on this, maybe wrong, but that's what I've seen a picture of. And I'm going to be using the, my Tumnus into my OCD. Um, the OCD, eh, maybe similar-ish to a, to a rat, but the Tumnus fattens it up. And if you listen to the production on it, it's huge! So um, that will hopefully help get me some of the way there. Anyway, enough nattering, let's check out some of these riffs. Okay, so the first riff is Awesome, very Led Zeppelin-y, as is the uh, John Bonham style drumming intro, which is marvellous. Um, check that out for sure. Um, so, I'm going to try and play through the whole thing, but there is a fair bit of variation in it. Very subtle variation, but I want to capture all that because it is important. So, have a listen. Okay, so I messed up that last bit. The last bit is... Okay, let me talk you through that slowly. It's based around an A chord. And then you're just taking all your fingers off and playing those strings open. It's like a G with um, A in the root. Something Pearl Jam do a fair bit of, actually. So, Whitney's in good company. Um, so again... Okay, that's the first bit. Second bit's repeated. And then you're going to slide up to this chord, which is basically uh, the top bit of a D, and then the top bit of an uh, C, and C, of a C chord, um, like this. So the first time round it plays it like that. You can play it like this, but that's not how Whitney plays it, at least not how I've seen her play it live. And then back into that riff. Um, second time round, the fill is slightly different, so it's... Okay, so that second fill is... So four of those, and three of those, with a little rest in the middle. Um, that's cool. The third one's the same as the first one. And then the fourth one, which I messed up, goes like this. And then you are into the next riff. Okay, next riff goes like this. Okay, so after that, there's this little rundown. Slowly, that riff goes like this. Okay, so make sure you get the slide in the right place. Okay, 
that's where the slide is. Um, and then into that, um, that little rundown, and then uh, live, I think she played. And then just lets that go into um, feedback. So um, you can do that if you like. In the verse, this note is um, held uh, with a bit of feedback, if you can muster it. Uh, and then up to the 14th fret. I don't think these notes are, are picked either, it's just just sort of lightly hammered on. Okay, then you go back into the main riff. And you come out of it playing this little fill. Okay, so that is the last part of that intro riff. Okay, so that's the first beat. Two, three, four. So there's some rhythmic fills in there as well, okay? Etc. There's some cool stuff in there, so um, do what you like in that bit. Uh, then there's another another fill, which is great. Really sort of lazy uh, little sexy lick. It's not like a country bend that you hold. It's bent and then you're going to mute that so you don't hear it go so it's uh, and then you are back into the main riff um, coming out of that there's a sort of little E chord the big slide Basically just an E power chord into a G power chord. Straight into that. Right, then we're into the solo section. Uh, and it's awesome. It's a belter. Um, it's not technically too difficult. It's not too fast. But um, it's got lots of attitudes. It's got some bends in it to be weary of. Um, it's more about the vibe really, so um, check it out, here's the first bit. So that's the intro to it, same fill as before, and then you're into the solo, okay? Okay, so it's... So a little note on that. It's, um, it's not like a, a full-on unison bend. So you're not playing really, really structured. You know, you're not playing it really straight like a robot. There's, um, she puts loads of feel into that there. So just uh, don't worry too much if you're doing a unison band or if you're missing the unison band. It doesn't really matter too much. It's more that you get that sort of, that lilt really that she plays with. So. Okay, um, so that's slowly. So the next section is this. Okay, so that's slowly. And then we repeat that. And again, partially. And then 
let's this run. So that is, so that last bar if you like. Full step bend there. And then you play a double stop. And then a little run down. Okay. So next you're going to play this. Okay, so that is the 15th fret bent up. A full uh, step. Okay, and the end of it is a... Okay, so... Okay, so the last part of the solo, very rhythmic and bluesy, um, goes like this. Okay, so that again. And then you're into the next bit. So. That is a bend from the 15th fret up, uh, a full tone, but it's muted. As soon as you get to the top of the bend, it's... So you want to dampen that right down. And you keep the bend held up while you continue to um, uh, play that same string. So. Okay, and then that last part, I'm just... You're doing the same sort of picking, but just as you release the bend slowly. And then you're into the last phrase of the solo. I'll play it slowly first. And there's a little slide at the end. So to speed, that goes like this. And then there's a slide at the end. Uh, coming out of that then you play an E chord and a D chord. Like that. Um, don't know if she plays the full chord or if it's just that partial chord again, but I'm going to go with that. And then you're into the next uh, riff which is double time. It goes like this. Okay, so slowly, reminds me a bit of the end of Rear View Mirror. So you're playing an A power chord. And then for the last little, uh, little part of that, you're just going to be playing the sort of part of that C chord. A minor. The next riff, I think, is in a bit of an odd timing, which is the sort of outro riff. Uh, that goes like this. There's kind of a, a percussive in there as well, so... Okay. Slowly.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed that one. That is it from me for another lesson. So until next time, cheery bye. Cheers.